Yes, Rashid, this is a very difficult case to really put forward the argument against the death penalty because views are very strong. And people have suffered enormously because of what Kassab has done. There's no doubt about that. Mine is more a moral kind of stand that I believe that no human being and therefore no government has the right to take life of any person, no matter how heinous the crime. And I also believe that now with the new standard of what is the life, uh, the, de uh, the life sentence, right. the new standard in Swami Shradananda's case, namely that he will stay in jail until he dies, is a sufficiently strong punishment for a person like this and for a crime of the type that has been committed. But, but the mood is very different and I think somehow the nation must uh, turn towards that ultimately. You know, you, you say that it must that turn ultimately, but, but, but my Jet Malani, this is a rarest of rare case. In that sense, if we have a death penalty under this country and we, we need fast track courts, then Kasab must fall within both those ambits. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not going to get a moral debate about the efficacy of the death penalty or the morality of the situation. The fact is, as you rightly pointed out, the law is very clear. The rarest of rare cases deserve the death penalty. And I, I, I make an exception. I, I'm as much against the death penalty. I make an exception only in the case of terrorists. I think in the, in the case of senseless, mindless violence, where innocents are paraded, shot ruthlessly, it's an absolutely appropriate <coughs> sentence to give, to give the offender. An absolutely appropriate sentence, but do you believe that you need a fast track court? Is that the way forward? That you have a fast track court but decided know, uh, in a fixed time frame? Is know, that possible? Rajdeep, in this case, I, I think uh, the delays could well have been avoided. As I've been saying uh, time, you know, times uh, endlessly, that first of all, Kassab had pleaded guilty. His plea of guilt was not accepted by the prosecution on an extremely technical, in my view, almost laborious ground. The plea of guilty had been accepted, there had been no appeal to the High Court, there had been no possibility of an appeal to the Supreme Court. At the most, there might have been a mercy petition. Right. Which brings us to the future and maybe that can be the subject of your next question. Okay, that can be the subject of, a, uh, you know, uh, of the next question because I want to come to the question of a mercy petition. Sevanti Parikh, would you ever consider that a government of India should consider a mercy petition for someone like Ajmal Kasab, given the fact that you lost your son Not and your daughter-in-law? Irrespective of that, not at all. Where is the mercy here? What mercy he has shown? What has he done? Of course, I, as I've always mentioned, that uh, one hanging one kasab is not going to solve the problem. A hundred more kasabs will be manufactured in the terrorist camps. So still we are not really, really taking the bull by the horns. And what we should do is destroy them, create yes, a pub world opinion. and. You know, if you say destroy but, them, but, this, but but is the answer then a fast track court? You know, I, I want to bring in Suel said again, is the answer a fast yeah, track yeah, court? Yeah, yeah. You know, let, let, let's assume that there is that, that, that there is a quicker penalty for Kasab. That by today, let's assume that the judicial process had exhausted itself, Kasab was pronounced guilty and he was hanged. Suel said, would that stop another 2611? Is there a deterrent factor in a fast track court for someone like Ajmal Kasab? Suel said. 